Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my camera bag. So I've accumulated a couple extra items since my last what's in my camera bag video. And I wanted to share with you guys since I do get questions a lot about, you know, the lenses that I'm using. So I figured why not just make a video and include some other stuff like accessories and you know, that fun stuff we like and spend so much money on. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the camera body that I use and the lens that's on it because I didn't want to take it off because, you know, attachment issues, I guess. My camera body is the 5D Mark III and the lens attached to this is the 35 millimeter 1.4. So this is the go-to lens if I'm doing uh, a lot of portraiture, if I'm doing some weddings, group events, and so on so forth. You know how people say that, it's kind of weird. I mostly use it if I'm doing like family pictures, senior pictures. So another body that I used for the longest time was the Canon 5D Mark II. I had this camera for two or three years and then I upgraded to the Mark III. Maybe I'll be selling this. I plan to use it as a backup. I probably just end up selling it I don't know, maybe you'll find it on eBay. It's a good condition, it's good. I take very good care of myself. It's like my children, these are all my children right here. My two kids. It's funny when asks if I have kids. They're very, very expensive children. But I feel like a hoarder, but it's a good type of hoarding, right? So the most recent lens that I've bought is the 24 to 70 lens, and this has to be one of my favorite lenses right now. I've started to use this lens a lot outside. This lens will save your life for those group photos where you start out with two people, then 10, then the whole hall is in your photo and you know, this is wide enough where it's gonna get everyone. I use, I am starting to use this a lot for fashion and I can't wait till the temperature goes above 10 over here in Detroit so that I can actually go outside without getting frostbite and I can go out and take some photos because I'm suffering from seasonal depression right now, just FYI. Like the weather here is really horrible. My car had to be towed out of the snow just to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with. The next lens that I have, which I absolutely love, it is my favorite lens, the 50 1.2, and I use this for most of my fashion portraits. I did shoot weddings with this, but it became sort of like a nightmare, again, referring to the group photo scenario when like 15 people wanna be in one photo and this lens just can't do that. You'll probably be able to get like half of a cheek of someone with a group photo with this lens. I would just recommend this lens if you're doing portraiture, fashion. The two other lenses that I don't really use too much but I still have are the 50 1.4 which is the first lens that I started with and the 50 macro lens and I absolutely love this lens. It is a Canon lens and I use it mainly for weddings if I'm doing a ring shot or I need a detail shot. A lot of the time, my couple will want a detail shot of the rings. Even if I use this for one or two pictures, it's totally worth it because you know I do a lot of weddings and the quality is impeccable. I bought this for like $200 and I got it off of eBay, it's used. Would definitely recommend this lens if you do a lot of weddings or a lot of detail photography, like macro shots. This is great because it is a macro lens. The Canon 1.4, I don't really use a lot, but I, I like to have it as a backup just in case something happens. The next thing that I use when I'm shooting events is my flash. And if you watch my other tutorials, you know that I've mentioned this. It's a 430EX2 and it's a Canon flash that I use for if I'm doing weddings, again, like an event. Mostly what I use, it uses four batteries. It's simple to use. Another thing that I use if I do want some extra indoor light is this torch LED, which I recently bought. I kind of hate this thing, I'm not gonna lie because the battery is so huge, and I'll show you. The battery on this thing is every child, every every human being's nightmare. It's freaking hu Who came up with this? What it, is this a battery for the apocalypse? Why is it so huge? Usually what would happen is I would put this in, and I've used this for a couple of events, and guess what, so it'll snap in, but like it's a little loose, like I'm putting it in r the right way. If you can see right here, you can see those skid marks, the battery actually fell off the light stand, okay? Off the light stand, it was all the way up here and it fell off the light stand like two or three times. I made sure that I securely fastened it. Basically like the battery broke during one of the events and I just put it back together. Besides like the dinosaur battery, it's pretty cool light. You turn it on and the nice thing about this, it has a dimmer. So if you want a little bit of light and another really, really nice thing is you can change the temperature. So if you want it, more of a yellow light. So would I recommend buying this light? 
If you have a life insurance policy, probably, because it'll fall on everything and everyone. A lot of people ask me what tablet I use to retouch. I use the Intuos CTL480. I use it for retouching all the time. Another cool thing that I bought is a little memory card holder, and this is pretty handy because if you are in the middle of an event and you don't have time to switch out memory cards and go back to your bag, what you can do is clip this onto your jeans or wherever and have two extra memory cards in here and you can just switch out while you're shooting. Some other things that I use, optic clean, lens cleaner, and then lens pen. It's like a cleaner for your lens. Really handy to have. I use a cute little uh, microfiber cleaning cloth to clean with the lens cleaner. Get my Sunday chores on. And one of the last things that I want to share with you guys is something that I recently bought and I really think it's cute and it could be handy for all you guys out there is this little, I bought this portfolio from Target. It was like $10. Look how cool this is. So you can open it up and it's really sturdy and I have my iPad in here and I have like a little notebook and I keep contracts in here. So I'm, when I'm meeting with my clients, I don't have to worry about, you know, it flying, all my stuff flying everywhere like it normally does. I had an incident where someone slightly pushed me and my iPad was with my notebook and my contract and it fell to the ground. So being in this portfolio is going to save its life. It's a very exp expensive life. And I do have an iPad mini which I carry around and I show all my clients. I have like proof sheet examples, stuff like that. So I pull this out and I show it to my clients. It's easier than pulling out my computer. I'll probably do another video about the indoor lighting that I use. but. Really, the lenses and all the camera bodies, this is pretty much all that I use. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and thank you guys for watching.